Well, I'm back once again. I, I know what I said in the last video. I wouldn't leave you hanging anymore. I'm sorry. I got a little busy. Things just went to happening real fast. A lot of big events and, and, and doing commercials and all this stuff. I, you know, I'm, I'm out here doing it big out here. But I'm back now. I'm back. It won't happen again, I promise you. Welcome back, family to yet another exciting episode of Yes Chef. I am your host, as always, Big Chef Dro. And today we're gonna to get into another course that was featured at my event back in March, A Night of Elegance. This course is going to be the Barramundi with the Sauce Vierge. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any Barramundi unless I ordered it in bulk, and I don't need that much Barramundi. But what I did do was, I went and got a Corvina. This Corvina is absolutely phenomenal, equally as good, though I will say I think I like the Corvina a little bit better because of the flakiness of it. Really tasteful, really flavorful. So we're going to get into that, show you how to put together this sauce vierge. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's cook. <laughs> All right, so for this course, I served uh, the uh, Barramundi with a red curry couscous. Not going to do that. I'm going to make this into a, a springtime, summer kind of salad uh, that's very light. Uh, I know the oil is there, but it's extra virgin olive oil. It's, it's going to be really looked at as more of a, a dressing slash sauce. So let's go on and uh, introduce you to all of these ingredients. Uh, first off, we have our fresh basil, and then uh, we also have some fresh tarragon as well. Uh, here, I have about two tablespoons of sherry uh, cooking wine, about two tablespoons of that. Got some garlic. You guys know how I am with garlic. I'll put it in there according to how I feel, okay? So we do have some chopped garlic. Uh, and then. I have a uh, tablespoon of coriander seeds. And I'm going to toast these up and then I'm going to go ahead and break them up in this, um, in this pestle here. So um, here I have some, balsam some balsamic vinaigrette. And that's about two tablespoons of the balsamic vinaigrette as well. Uh, here I have two Meyer lemons. The Meyer lemons have an orange hue. Really, really top of the line lemon. So I have two of those. Don't know if I'll use them. Just got them here just in case. Uh, I may just use one of them, okay? Uh, shallots, big shallot here. I'll use some of this as well. Uh, probably about two tablespoons of the shallot as well. And then I have some green onions. Uh, this is gonna be used mostly for decoration. Uh, here I have my um, heirloom tomatoes. All different colors, sizes, shapes. Uh, these are the ones I love the most. I love these the most. These, these have a really good, good taste to them. So we're going to cut some of those up, but we're going to take the membrane and the seeds and all the stuff out. We're just going to basically uh, use the outside of these, and we'll use the, uh, the, the seeds and the membrane and the inside of it for something else, okay? Uh, but we're gonna get we're gonna get all of this we're gonna get all of these chopped up and ready to go as well. Then I have some oil here. I have some extra virgin olive oil, and if you're gonna do this, make sure you get some really good olive oil. And then I have some truffle oil here as well. Want to give it a, 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 a nice little flavor to it. That's gonna kind of you know we're gonna kind of create different flavors as we go along. You know, um, I have some kosher salt, fresh cracked pepper, and. Here is the Corvina. Now, I have a pretty nice piece. Obviously, I'll cut, the, I'll cut it up, and we're going to put that uh, in the oven. We'll go over that when we get there. So let's get all of this stuff together, and we'll be back. All right, family, so we are back. So here I have uh, eight ounces of extra virgin olive oil, okay? Now, I'm going to use another two ounces of truffle oil, okay? Again, I want that flavor in there. So we've got about two ounces of this good truffle oil in there as well. 
And then we'll go ahead and start putting in the, uh, the garlic. And I'm gonna just go ahead and use all of it, okay? That was about a fourth of a cup of garlic. Now, I'm gonna let this get a little warm. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn it down to about a medium low, okay? Then we're gonna start, we're gonna start just putting everything. This is, this is basically a little dump and go. You know, go ahead and put those tomatoes off in there. Let's get these shallots off in there as well. And now those, the shallot, that was about half of that shallot that I showed you earlier. Put the coriander in there. You're not trying to stew this, so you want to keep this on a nice low. You don't want to turn it into a tomato sauce. Just go ahead in with a little bit of that, a little bit of that sherry. Just to get that little flavor off in there. Go ahead, get the lime or the lemon juice off in there. I'll go ahead and put two of these off in there. All right, so as you can see, we got a little simmering going on. That's about as much as you want. You don't really want a hard boil. You don't, again, you don't want to turn this into a, a tomato sauce. So just let it, just let it simmer. You're gonna let this sit for about eight minutes, uh, maybe even 10. And um, once, that, once that happens, we'll come back, finish this thing off. All right, so this is where we wanna be. Go ahead, turn this off. Let's move this to the side. We can go ahead start chopping uh, the basil. All right, got that basil in there, so let's go ahead and stir that around off in there. Get this tarragon ready. Tarragon kind of has a licorice smell to it, but it's very good. All right, let's go ahead and with the balsamic. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put some, get some salt and pepper off in there. All right, so let's go ahead and get this fish ready. Let this sit for as long as you want. Uh, the more it sits, obviously, the better it's going to taste. So uh, that's up to you how you want to set it. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and get this fish in the oven, all right? All right, fam, so let's go ahead and get this fish together. Uh, first and foremost, my special blend. If you're new to the channel, uh, this is what I usually use uh, to season my food. Not always, but the majority of time I use this. And this is just a 50-50 blend of Morton seasonal and accent salt. That's it. Put it in a, in a container, shake it all together, and that's what we got. So we're going to season uh, just the top of this fish. Uh, again, folks, can't teach you how to season. You know, you got to learn how to flip that wrist, okay? So we'll get a little, uh, get a little bit of that on there. Then we'll go ahead and go in with some, with some onion powder, a little bit of that. Okay, a little garlic. Then we'll finish it all off uh, with some smoked paprika. Here's what I like to do to my fish for the most part when I'm putting it in the oven. I like to go ahead, top it off with a little bit of butter oil. I don't know why I do it, I just do it, and I like it, okay? So, 
Go ahead, put it on this pan here. Put that down there. Put that right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven uh, at 375. It'll probably take about 10 or 15 minutes to cook. So we will be back right after that. All right, family. So here we are. We got the finished product. Go ahead and lay that on top of this bed of greens. Go ahead and put some of this sauce vierge on here. Man, this came out absolutely delicious. go ahead and get into this interested to see how this tastes with this Corvino ready to just go straight on in Tell you what, folks. The Corvina is good, as always. That, that sauce for years is just something different. Every time you take a bite, you're getting a new flavor. Two seconds after that, you're getting another flavor. This, this is what makes me so happy to cook. Oh man, this is, it's no wonder why everybody enjoyed it at my event. This, this sauce vierge is so, so complex, so delicious, so full of flavor, and it just explodes in your mouth. I just, I'm gonna have to go in one more time for you. Mm. It's, it's, it's coriander, it's truffle, it's lemon, it's garlic. It, I mean, everything just comes out. Everything. Wow. Well, folks, that's it for this video. Man, another one is coming behind it. Don't worry. I, I got you. So we are doing some things different. Over here at Yes Chef, oh, I've reached out to a social media marketing team that are going to be handling a lot of behind the scenes things for me. Also reached out to some videographers. I need someone in here to help me film this, help me uh, get everything along so I'm not doing everything all by myself. So we're going to also create some, some content for the Patreon as well. We got to get that up and running. I've had it for a while. I have not put one single thing on it just been too busy, don't have enough time. And, you know, it's so, so I'm, 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 I'm reinvesting into the company to get more content out there. We're going to have uh, a, a whole lot of things on the Patreon that will not be on YouTube as well. So stay on the lookout for that. That's it, folks. I'm, I'm done. I, I can't wait to finish this off. So if this is your first time tuning into Yes Chef, Go ahead and hit that like button if you got any value out of the content that you just seen. For those of you who are always here, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to be a part of this family and you want to be uh, up to date on everything that we come out with here on Yes Chef. So folks, until the next time I see you, until the very, very next video, which is coming around real soon. Until then, family, peace.